Hi, I'm Brian. Today I want to talk to you about how you can optimize your Premiere Pro workflow so you can be a faster editor and get projects done more efficiently. So if you've ever used a preset in Lightroom or a lookup table to color grade your footage, we're basically taking that same idea and applying it to a Premiere Pro project file. What we do is we take a Premiere file and set our workspace how we want it, we add any titles, music, sound in there that we use often, we dial in our sequence settings so that next time you have a project to edit, you just drag and drop your video clips into this project you can edit it up, export it out, and you save a little bit of time on the front end. This method will just save you a couple minutes per project, but eventually that'll turn into hours the more projects you use it on, and that's a win for everyone. It means you get to be out there filming more and less time behind the computer organizing files and messing around in Premiere. So let's get into how we do it. Mouse, keyboard, screen. Okay, we're gonna get a little bit Inception-y. I'm gonna show you how this technique works while I edit the video that you're watching right now. So first, go to the folder on your computer where you're going to keep your Premiere project file. So I'm keeping my Premiere project in my Premiere folder, and as you can see, this is my YouTube Premiere 4K template. So this is the template I use on YouTube videos shot here. So as you can see, we open this up and we have a Premiere file that's all ready to go. So if we look over here in the project tab on the left, we can see folders that I use that contain stuff that I use in these videos. So a 4K black bar overlay, an adjustment layer for color grading, we have an area to put videos, so let's drop those in. So these are the raw videos for the first part of the video that you saw. We'll put those in the video folder here. So we can drag and drop the raw clips from earlier and put them there. Then pulling this adjustment layer over, you can see the video becomes color graded because I already know the grade that I want in these videos. Next thing to note in audio track one, I have an EQ on that track that affects all of these vocals here. So I don't have to do any adjustment there to make my voice sound good. Next thing to know, I have these titles in the timeline already, so I can just drag them wherever I want them, change the text in them, and then all I have to do really is cut up the video, put the titles where I want them, put a little music on, and the YouTube video is ready to go out. So that was just a quick rundown on how you can use these techniques to cut down on the busy work at the front end of editing a video. So that's that. That's a super simple method of how you can optimize your workflow in Premiere Pro on the front end. In the description below, there's a link that'll take you to one of these templates for a 4K Premiere Pro timeline. Feel free to use that. Other than that, I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, let me know below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And until next time.